Hi friends, my name is Star and this is the Full Spectrum Art Party bonus episode. I just want to show you some crochet hooks I picked up recently, purchased. I do still knit, in fact I'm working on something right now which I'll show you in another episode, knitting. But I do also crochet <laughs> and I Tunisian crochet and I knit in one project. I do it all, multi-craft jewel. But I picked up some hooks, so let's just jump right in. Uh, first up, this is from Love Knots Crochet. What is Love Knots Crochet? This is a Etsy store. Can you see? Love Knots Crochet on Etsy. They are in the same town I am. And that's also the name of their uh, Instagram. Anyway, here's what I got. I got this cute little G hook. It's a Susan Bates, this one. So it shipped really fast and got here really fast. One thing that's kind of fun is you know that it's a G hook because <laughs> of that. These are silicone beads, so they, when you if you were to really squeeze on them, they give you some squishy kind of resistance. These are pretty kind of floral beads with some mustard yellow and some kind of cream colored. The color of the hook you can't control. That's just a Bates thing. If you get a G hook from Susan Bates, it's this color. I don't care. I think they go, it kind of goes well together. What I like about this hook, I hold my hooks, um, how do I hold my hooks? Um, I started knitting and then I learned to crochet, so I tend to hold my hooks like they're a, like they're a knitting needle. I, I kind of do this grip. So it works for me uh, really well and it gives it a little bit of a thicker, it's ergonomic, right? So instead of holding this thin little thing, it gives you a little something thicker to hold on to, which is just right. I like the Bates style. People tend to like either the boy or the Bates. The Bates is that inline style. My favorite is the Clover Amore so far, which is a hybrid. But this is what I got from there. I also picked up this H hook, which is also a Bates. It's kind of a pastel rainbow. Um, I got this F hook, also of the Bates variety. And this one's kind of cute. It's got a thicker. This is actually quite nice. It's thicker and it's got a lot of stuff to grab onto. And my favorite one, just because I'm a geek, uh, <laughs> Pac Man. Waga, 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 waga. Eating these little, and you have a choice. Oh, sorry, I should hold it this way. I'm looking at it from my point of view. You have a choice of the small dots or the big dots. Uh, meaning these little black things, you could get bigger or smaller. I chose the small ones for accuracy. Pac-Man eating the little ghosts and then the red ones at the end and they put the C here like a dot. So cute. They seem like they're in place. I'm not worried about them going anywhere and, and it's a, like I just got a little C hook. Also Bates. So cute and so and it's just aligned perfectly. So this is my new collection from Love Knots Crochet. All of them. They're great. Um, they occasionally have sales. I don't know. Right now, these hooks, uh, they also sell crochet patterns. Right now, 10% off sale at the making of this video. Oh, that's cute. Some really cute crochet patterns. And there's a hook. Sale right now, 10% off. Oh, gosh. Um, completely reasonable, $12.60 US for a crochet hook. Great price. Okay, um, sale ends in nine hours. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sales come and go. Okay, next, let's keep this rolling. The next one I want to share with you is also an Etsy seller. I mean, at least I got it from Etsy. Nerdy Birdie Co. from Las Vegas. Can you read that? I don't know. Nerdy Birdie Co. 
Um, also does crochet patterns and hooks. Look at that. I really like the kind of horror themed hooks. Um, some of these I think are 3D printed and painted and some are clay. That's this, this, I got this set, uh, I'll show you. I'm really intrigued with this one. Okay. So these are the lightsabers. I got the set. Um, Star Wars inspired, it says. Yeah, I would say so. Um, basically, you can choose, I'm just reading the instructions. Yeah, okay, so you can choose the hooks that go in it. And I said I wasn't as particular about the hook size. I just wanted to make sure that like Darth Vader's was red. <laughs> right? Um, I wanted accuracy. Um, and so on. I wanted to make sure that Obi-Wan's was blue and Luke could have green, for example. He had a couple options. Here's the thing with this one. Um, I feel like these are cute and they're definitely going to work as crochet hooks. They feel really good. I mean, they're super fun if you like Star Wars for sure. And they, they'll definitely work as crochet hooks. They're a little, I think over time, they're a little sticky. Um, they just got here today. They will, over time, I think that stickiness will wear off. I don't think the painting job is perfect. I don't require perfection. <laughs> If you're not that picky, it's good enough, right? But it is in the picture of the ad, they look a little cleaner than what comes, but it's okay. I'm fine. I'm fine with it personally. It looks handmade and that's what I was expecting. You could see that it's hand painted and it's okay. Some of them are like, this is not centered. I don't think it matters. I won't affect, it won't affect the crocheting, but it's definitely not straight. But I don't think it'll affect the crocheting. See that? The red one? It's kind of coming out. I don't think it'll affect the crocheting. I don't know. They don't say what kind of, what brand of hook this is. It's like a generic kind of hook. But it's fine. And they're cute. These are probably, I probably won't use these a ton. However, I love them just for like nerd purposes. They're cute. Um, they are... $17 each, but you get a discount when you buy the set. Actually, they're regularly $20. They're on sale for $17. Let's see what the price is for the set. Actually, where is the set? Sorry, I require your patience. It's not listed as a set anymore. You're going to have to see what's going on there. This one I thought came out great. Boing, boing, boing. This is a Mario themed one. Again, the painting's not perfect. I don't care. It's so cute. This one I believe is 3D, also 3D printed and then painted. What a brilliant idea. Wouldn't it be so fun to just make crochet hooks like this? Come up with some, any idea at all. And again, I just said, I just wanted to mat something kind of yellow. And this is what I got, which is not yellow, <laughs> but I'm not complaining. It's fine. And I just think this would be fun to hold while crocheting. I just feel like this is so comfortable. So if I need a thick hook, oh, did I tell you? One thing I really liked about the lasers, boom, you know what size they are. This one, it's 
not really marked anywhere that I can see. So I'll have to use a gauge to determine, like a needle gauge, a hook gauge to determine what size this is because I don't remember what I bought or what it is. Again, maybe more decorative, but I think it's so cute, right? Okay, so the Nerdy Bird ones come with this, which I thought was pretty useful. Um, tells you how to clean your hooks, how to take care of them, what not to do, plus all the social, all their socials and everything. Which is pretty nice. And then um, on a diff completely different end of the spectrum, this is um, from Brian Tyler Nelson. This is like an artisan hook. These are a little more expensive. These are splurge. I love, so he's got a ton of different style hooks. You can spend like an hour just kind of dinking around in his shop, looking online at all his offerings, which is here, nelsonwood.net. Also, something I love that he offers every month, there's a hook of the month, which is discounted. You wanna get in early, because <laughs> they sell out. And this is last month's hook of the month, although it may still be available. It's called Days in the Sun. And you get to choose a few things. I chose Bloodwood and Copper and Pure White, I don't even know. You can get the hook, he'll do a wooden hook He'll turn the hook for you out of wood, but I added a Bates insert. It's got these rings that are just white, pure white. Um, there was a mistake on this, which is really minor. I asked for the, I left the tag on so I'd remember how to show you. I asked for the hook size to be stamped onto the hook and he forgot, <laughs> but it's okay. I know what size it is because all Bates hooks that are a G are the same color. So I know it's a G and I remember I asked for it because that's a size I use a lot. Look at this, by the way. This is like a burl wood with resin and flowers. It's a work of art that he lathes and polishes. I mean, this is so smooth. It's, you can see the shine. It is smooth, 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 smooth. Smoothest thing ever. And the transitions are completely smooth. To the hook, it's smooth. It's just a work of art. This is a joy to use. And it's cute and beautiful. The last, no, second to last, I wanted to show you. Now this I bought on a Impulse purchased because uh, Tony TL Yarncrafts Lipsy um, recommended it on hers. Bella Coco Crochet, the Athena hook set, also because my name is Star Athena and I, it's called Athena. That put me over the edge and Bella Coco is famous. It's a set, it comes in a case, it looked interesting. When I got mine, it was, it, I had two of the same hook, there was a mistake. I reached out to customer service. They sent me a replacement. They told me to keep the uh, extra and they sent me a replacement. I like that. Um, the price, I can't remember the price. You can, you know, Bella Coco crochet hook. It's a reason, I think I want to say it was around $40 for the whole set. It was reasonably priced. The set's okay. Um, there are things about it I like the price being one of them. I like that it all comes in a case that's easy to t take care of. And this, it has the ergonomic, whether you hold it, like if you do a pencil grip or a, the grasp like I do, it's got indentations for everybody. So I feel like they were really considered how everybody holds it. It's nice and long. It's got the millimeter stamped on there. It may rub off, I don't know. It's got kind of a um, hybrid style. Leaning a little more towards 
you know, it's a hybrid style. It's got, it's kind of pointy, but also not too in line. It's, it's a good hook. I like it. It just has, there's a couple of them that have like machine, the machining, like this is a good example. I don't know if it'll show. There's some ridges kind of on it. It's not super clean. Smells like, oh, it smells like the dentist, like the tools they use. Which is a little off putting. Maybe over time it'll go away. But it's a good set for the price. So I'm, hap I'm, I'm happy with it. And it comes in a case, which I like. This is going to be the last maker, but not the least. I am in love with this maker. Oh my goodness. Okay, the packaging too. It, if you're sensitive to smells, just be aware. It smells great. <laughs> I'll just say that, it smells amazing. I am sensitive to smells personally. This doesn't make me sneeze for some reason. Maybe it's a more natural scent, but I don't even know how to describe the smell. I just think the person who made this smells amazing. I just want to know her. Um, here's the company. Her name is Ashley Seja, C-E-J-A. That's the return address. She's also in Vegas. Her company's called Frank and Luna. She gives you a handwritten note. This, she has my heart forever. I mean, it's so cute. This just came also, and it's got... This is part... She did a Stranger Things hook drop. She's a nail artist, and I follow her on Instagram. Her nail work is cute. Came with some stickers. This was a Stranger Things drop. Her things go so fast. I really wanted the clover... She did white and black. I wanted a black one with clover hook. Did not score that one. I got a Bates white one. Love it, it's fine. Um, no big deal. Let me see if there's anything else on the invoice I need to mention to you. Another thing is great, she sends you the invoice with the price. This is, an, this is more of an expensive hook, y'all. Why? Because it's immaculate, handmade, handcrafted, hand-painted, hand-finished work of art. It's 56. 66 US dollars. This is a K hook with a hue. So it's Stranger Things themed. This is the white one. There were also black ones, like I said. She does boy, baits, and clover. Um, so you can see this is a baits. It's got that inline. I would have taken anything. It's hand painted with the Hellfire Club. All of this is hand work. And it's got the size of the hook stamped in there. This is clean and smooth compared to something like this, right? Like this is still sticky. Again, I don't wanna complain. I'm just being honest, my honest review. And you could see the difference in the paint work, I think. This feels more like a craft item, crafted, and it's the price difference is there too. Like, you get what you pay for, I think. This is immaculate. This is smooth. This feels like a piano key. It is smooth, clean, like, clean, so, it feels like ceramic, you know? And it's, the ergonomics are, precise. This is a hook that you're going to cherish forever. And I feel like it'll hold up forever. I love it. I have another one for hooks. I don't know if I ever showed you. I'm going to show you real quick. It's a J hook. <laughs> so cute. It's also a Bates. It's a unicorn tail, horn, rainbow. And it's got like a holographic, can you see that? Glittery, it's lavender with rainbows and clouds. And it's also that same shape, so it's nice. Uh, yeah, 
and she knew I was a repeat purchaser in the card. It was very heartfelt. Let me show you her her shop. It's called Frank and Luna. Uh, give it a sec. Frank and Luna. Hello. Where's the sweet spot? There it is. Currently, her hooks go very fast. Currently, this is what's in her shop. Just some hats. I don't want to say just some hats, but... Welcome to my shop. My name is Ashley. I live in Las Vegas with my beautiful family. I'm a licensed cosmetologist. I specialize in nails. I love to paint, crochet, knit, and make soaps. Yeah. Um, and here's her Instagram at the bottom. Do you see it? Craft by Ashley Seha. You're going to want to follow that one. <laughs> That's my opinion. All right, so we're at 20 minutes, so we better wrap this up. That's just a few lovely hooks I got recently. I have become a hook collector. So let me know if you have any awesome hooks, please. I'm on the hunt. I'm always looking for new and fun hooks. It's become a little bit... I, I'm also a yarn collector, obviously. Yarn takes up more space. So what's fun about hook collecting is you can, you know, like this many skeins of yarn is a bit, is, <laughs> I've got totes of yarn, but the hooks are all fitting in just like a little, you know, jars. So it's kind of cute and I'm collecting them and I love them and they make me happy. They spark joy. So that's where I'm at. So if you have any recommendations, let me know, please, because I want to support all the hook makers, all the hookers. Let's get together and party. That's coming out weird. Uh, okay, <laughs> see you on the next one. Bye.